Honorable Senators, I wish to draw your attention to the presence in the gallery of Patricia Grattan, a proud Newfoundlander, curator, and writer. She's the guest of the Honorable Senator Bovey. On behalf of all Senators, welcome to the Senate of Canada. Senator Bovey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, it's a real treat to welcome my longtime visual arts colleague, Pat Grattan. How many times over the decades, Pat, have we sat in discussions together here in Ottawa, across the country, on the arts and the way they positively affect the world we live in? Today, colleagues, I want to applaud Pacific Opera Victoria and the Vancouver Opera for their joint co-commission and co-produced BC Schools touring production, Flight of the Hummingbird. Addressing issues of climate change and reconciliation, this was a collaboration with local knowledge keepers and Indigenous communities. The Indigenous advisors were key to the project's success. The opera, The Flight of the Hummingbird, as the writer Michael Nicol Yugudlanis notes, is a call to action based on the book of the same name. A parable for the environment, it is a story of a great fire in the forest, a fire put out by the resilience and persistence of a little hummingbird, a bird symbolizing wisdom and courage. This story's roots are with the Quenchen people of South America and the Haida of Haida Gwaii. So though the characters of the hummingbird, the bear, bunny, owl, and crows, the story and music interweave the history of colonization, the impact of trauma, and the importance of caring for each other, of sharing perspectives, and thus becoming stronger. The school guide states, quote, in this way, the story of the hummingbird is not only a call to action, but an expression of the spiritual and emotional truth of their existence, end quote. I learned last summer that this spring and next, it will tour all BC, including many First Nations communities. To me, this is one of the key reconciliation actions, which with others, will inspire and add up to real reconciliation. It is number six of the 10 principles of the, reconciliation and of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Quote, all Canadians as treaty people share the responsibility for establishing and maintaining mutually respectful relationships, end quote. These two major Canadian opera companies have done that together through active consultation, participation by Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. Rebecca Haas, the Anishinaabe Métis woman and Pacific Opera's director of engagement wrote, quote, we were there, we saw, we heard, we walked this piece forward in a good way, we witnessed. Congratulations, I know the experiences in the schools where this is presented will be memorable and significant. Colleagues, the arts are part of our awareness of climate change. Heritage is affected by it, and artists and creators must be part of the ongoing solution. Thank you.